am this big. I am six foot seven and 350 pounds. Yes, and I am very weak. <laughs> travel a lot. My family's always worried about me. They're like, Mark, Mark, aren't you scared being out there on the road all by yourself? A lot of weirdos out there. Like, not really, because I don't really talk to anybody, and I'm not a good Samaritan by any means, you know? If I pull into a rest area, and there's a guy laying on the ground, my immediate thought is, I hope somebody helps him. <laughs> it is not going to be me, because... Listen, in my neuroses, I'm thinking nine times out of ten, that's someone that needs med medical attention. But there's that one chance that that's Bob the Ripper, okay? <laughs> and this is his thing, you know, he pretends to be dead, and you rush to help him, and he just pops up and starts stabbing in the kidney, you know? Just... I don't have time for that. I just don't have hero DNA. I don't have it. If I'm in a dark city and I hear somebody yell from the alley, Oh, God, help my wife! I don't just rush in there. <laughs> like... I'll call somebody. Because <laughs> I know with my luck, I'd get down there to help him, and his wife is just a trash bag with a wig on it, you know? And now I'm tied up in the back of his van, and he's taking me someplace. And I don't know what you're thinking right now. You're like, how big is that van? <laughs> pretty big, pretty big. <laughs> Common sense, folks, that's the words. Common sense. I was uh, staying at a horrible hotel. Five minutes into the room, somebody's knocking on my door. And I was like, yeah? And he was like, open the door. <laughs> and I was like, nope. <laughs> and he seemed surprised like this had never not worked. He was like, what's that? <laughs> I was like, I'm not from here. I'm not expecting anybody. Why would I open the door? And he was like, you're not the least bit curious on who this is? Not even a little bit. Curiosity killed the cat, but it ain't killing this idiot, okay? <laughs> just stay out of harm's way, you know? I don't go to bars, because I know at some point in the night somebody's gonna want to fight me just because I'm a giant man. <laughs> I just don't know at what point in my life I became a 12-point <laughs> buck. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> don't spook him, don't spook him. Don't spook him. <laughs> and it's hilarious, too, because... I am this big. I am six foot seven and 350 pounds. Yes, and I am very weak. <laughs> and I'm a <laughs> I am terrified of clowns and spiders. <laughs> and God forbid a clown spider shows up, I would die. I've seen it in my nightmares. He drives into my kitchen in a tiny car and just starts juggling with his weird eight arms. I'd be dead. I feel sorry for my daughter, Willow, when she gets to that point where she's like, Daddy, there's a monster in my closet. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't do monsters. Let's get Mommy. She gets the spiders for Daddy. Isn't it amazing, though, how many people are out every night looking to punch somebody in the face? They're so angry. It's over nothing, you know? It's in a bar. I accidentally bump into some guy, and he's like, Hey, watch where you're going, fat ass. How'd you get so fat? I was like, well, it's an interesting story. Because <laughs> every time I bang your mom, she makes me a sandwich. So. 